Hi, it's Corrine for the Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and today I'm so excited to share an album with you that I made last night. And um, I had a lady on Facebook make a comment about the last coin envelope that I made last week. If you follow me, you might remember that. She had made a comment stating that it could probably be made large enough to hold four by six photos. So I knew I wanted to make another one of these albums because it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. So I just went ahead and made it large enough to hold four by six photos. And I did not film the process of it. I just worked on it and um, I worked on it quite a few hours last night. But I did write down the measurements if you want to follow as far as the measurements. But as far as a mini album goes, I'll link a tutorial of how I make my mini albums down in the description box and this is made the exact same way um, and it's also made the same way on my last week's video of the coin envelope so I'll link that in the description box as well along with all the beautiful Wild Orchid Craft product, products that I've used. I used tons throughout this album so again I'm really excited to share with you on uh, what I made. This is the paper that I used. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it's by the Paper Studio. It's called Hello Darling and let me just say you will probably be seeing me use this a lot. I love this paper and you get so much with it. You get four sheets each and there's 20 designs. It's just a gorgeous paper pad. The paper is fairly thin so you can't use it on its own as far as tags or anything like that. So I just backed everything with black. Black against this paper looks phenomenal in my opinion. So that's the paper pad I used and here is the album. The album is six and a half by four and three quarters and it's a chunky album. I use the Laura Dennison Stack the Deck Binding System. So again I have all the measurements of this on my blog. I'll put a link in my blog. So on the front here I used an Allie Edwards stamp. It says celebrating this or excuse me celebrate the stories of today. I cut out this scallop circle in silver paper from DCWV and lined it with black. I used a beautiful magnolia and lots of wild orchid craft flowers, hip rose buds, some of their pearl loop which are some of my favorite to use and these sparkle rhinestone embellishments they're flat back so they're great to work with. I also use these corners in silver. On the side I used a large bow with an open rose in the center and there's the back. And this has six envelopes throughout so the measurements I give are for the silhouette but I also give you measurements if you just want to back two pieces of paper together along the hinge you can do that as well if you don't have access to either cutting um, these envelopes out or coin envelopes in general. So on the side here I used one of these laser wood cutouts from Wild Orchid Craft. There's actually two stacked together. These are beautiful. I used some of the flat back pearls. To the side pocket I have two little tags and again I just backed everything with black cardstock. I added a silver bow with one of their diamond circles and a pearl in the center from Wild Orchid Crafts. I think that turned out so pretty and look how pretty this paper is. And I did line the hinges with the decorative paper as well. So every single one of these, there's nothing inside of them, but these will hold lots of photos. I made them I believe four by six, excuse me, four and a half by six and a half approximately. And here's a postcard that's four by six and as you can see it fits in perfectly. So lots of photos can fit in here because I made them big enough. Again I use the um, decorative paper for the brads for the little circle reinforcements but because the paper was too thin I did back it on a black piece of paper. I thought it would show a little bit better. It doesn't show. It blends in a little too much but Either way, I think it's so pretty with the decorative paper on there. So on this page I added a large bow and I did make my hinges a half inch so it's not going to get squished. The bows are not going to get squished. In the center I added a rhinestone and two more tags. I added some of the white organza trimming. And this comes in small and large. This is the small.
On this side, I used some of that beautiful lace trim with organza flowers. I made a belly band out of it on the side and a larger mat to fit inside with some flat back um, diamond rhinestones. This ship, chevron paper. On this side, I made a side pocket. I cut a scallop that I designed in my cameo and I added the word delightful. I just printed that out. I will try and link to that as well because I got that from the Silhouette store. Here is another mat with this gorgeous paper. Here I did a larger scallop pocket, added a tag with some seam binding. And to this bow I added one of the Wild Orchid Crafts um, hearts flat back embellishments. On this side I cut out a scallop oval frame and again I will try to link to that if I can still find it. For some reason when you go back sometimes the designs are not on there. I, I used a gardenia here and then some sweetheart blossoms and the top of the frame is left open so the recipient can pull this out, use this as a template and add their photo in and if they want to go ahead and glue down the top of the frame they can do so. So that just tucks back in here. And on the last page, I left this one blank. It's a side pocket with that beautiful bracket frame. I added a, another bow. To this one, I have a little flower with a diamond embellishment in the center. And I think for those, you get a hundred of them for, I think, a dollar or two. So very, very reasonable. And last but not least, I did another side pocket. I used their uh, flat back pearl trim. And what I like about this trim, I use it a lot on diagonal pockets. It cuts so easily, so I can cut it to match my pocket. I use some rose leaves and these gorgeous flowers. These are some of my favorites right now from Wild Orchid Crafts. They're the pink center. They're white with pink center flowers. And then I added two more tags with the paper collection. Love this paper. So that's my album. Check out my blog post for all the measurements that I used to make this album. Again, in the video and on my blog post, I will link uh, to my mini album tutorial and the other video where I show in fast play how I put this album together. I don't, it's not a tutorial. I don't spend a lot of time on it. But um, again, I'll link to all these gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft products. I hope you stop by and check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it.